Jimmy Pardo in You Bet Your Life, featuring Pat Francis. And now, ladies and gentlemen, the one, the only, Jimmy Pardo. Everybody. Hello. How are you doing, friend? Good to have you here. Helky's in the house. Let's see how this affects everything. Welcome, everybody. Uh, thanks for hanging out in the rain. That uh, seems uh, awkward. Okay, come on in, friend. Where'd you go? Get a, couple, get a couple bottles of water? Where'd you head to, friend? What? I, I said, where'd you go? Get water? And then you said, what? And then I said, where'd you go? And then you said, beg your pardon. That's how this awkward conversation started. And that's how it's going to end. What's your name, my friend? I'm Jazz. I'm sorry? Jazz. Jazz? Mm -hmm. well, that can't be right. What is it? <laughs> Jazz. Welcome. How you doing? Bluegrass, what's your name? Bluegrass is the joke I went with because he's Jazz. Um, <laughs> Jazz Fusion. All right, that's going to get awkward and old by the 15th minute I start doing that. That'll be fun. Ah, uh, love songs? What? Uh, <laughs> Ah, uh, ballads. Good to have you. Now, we've met before, right, friend? What is your name? Rashad. Uh, Rashad. Okay. Is it bring a weird guy with a freaky name, get him free night? How's it working in here? <laughs> I, got, I got Rashad and Jazz. <laughs> what are you awing? <laughs> really? That's offensive in 2009? <laughs> oh, he's making fun of names. I don't like that kind of humor. I'm going to go home and watch George Lopez. I, um... <laughs> What happened? Is he here? Sweet Jesus, tell me he's not here. Is he bugging his eyes out in the corner for an effect? Hey, where's the punchline? I don't know. Sweet Jesus. George is a good man if he didn't try to get me fired three times back in 99. Uh, 99. That's a true story. He said, I don't want that honky on my show. Wish I was lying to you. That's what he said, George Lopez, about me. That's offensive. For a Latino to use a black man's word like that. Can we agree that's offensive? They have their own words, don't they? Like, siesta? It's offensive. I apologize, Jazz, right? You're from Mexico with that name? No. Where are you from, Jazz? I'm from Malaysia. Malaysia. One guy. He had the Malaysian flu back in 2004, and he finally got rid of it, and he's applauding that. They just gave him a shot and a cold compress. You don't know what that means? A shot is something you get from a doctor, and a cold compress is a cold rag that you'd put on your forehead. <laughs> Jazz, you and I can't ever get on the right foot. Can I ask you to take off? I run a tight ship. And who's sitting here? We got anybody uh, joining you? No, we got an open seat. We got an open seat up front. If anybody wants to uh, take advantage of that, are you guys happy with that shit seat in the corner? <laughs> How are you folks doing? What's your name back there, sir? Willard. What is it? Oh, Christ. Okay. <laughs> I know this is a hackneyed reference, but at some point, Ashton Kutcher's going to run in here? Is that what's going to happen? It's going to be, hey, we're kidding you. Here's their real names. Tom, Rob, and Billy. <laughs> and what was yours? Ian. Ian. Okay. What's happening in here? Is there a John in John the... Right here. Thank you, sir. Thank Christ you're here. John, how are you doing, friend? I am excellent. Good for you. What's your story, buddy? Uh, that seems like an open-ended right. question. It probably should <laughs> They wanted to be a little more precise than just that. Good to have you here, John. You, are you getting through Stormwatch 09 okay, John? Sure, why not? That joke works every year around this time of year. It rains, the newsmen go crazy, comedians do that joke. I've been doing that joke since 1974. I was watching Ray Rayner in Chicago, and he came on. And he would pull it off, uh, uh, Cuddly Dudley, all right, Stormwatch 78! Then he went to Arizona and did some dinner theater. What, um... How are we doing over here in the Arsenio section? Everybody gonna be okay? All right, boy, you can't be less happy to be here, huh, friend? You're out of the raid. What's your name? Kevin. Okay, Kevin, you fascinate me, Kevin. I don't know everything about you. What'd you do today, Kev? Um, today I actually worked. Yeah. Do you guys want me to move these seats away? I mean, it seems very odd that you guys are all cramped in like that. Let me give you a little more space. You know what? Let me put it down, you fucking hillbilly. <laughs> Damn it, have a little respect. Like Kevin, he worked today like a gentleman. 
Look at that guy putting his seat up in the theater. You don't do that over at the Pantages, do you, when you're seeing Wicked? I, said, I don't know if that was at the Pantages. I don't know where that was. I do know I nodded off right around the start of it. And then woke up right around that Gravity song, because that's loud. Nobody saw Wicked? I was the only one that got that every year. Did you get that for a birthday gift like I did? Yeah. Yeah. That's an awful, awful birthday. Did you not care for Wicked? It's okay, right? <laughs> you guys all love Wicked? What happened? To <laughs> Tell you, man, hey, leave Wicked alone. I enjoyed that. I was better than the producers. No, I wasn't. What's your name, Angelady? Christina. Hi, Christina. How are you tonight? Good. What'd you do today, Christina? Uh, I went shopping. Yeah. Is that right? In the rain? Oh, you don't care. You're like a mailman. The weather's not going to keep you down from shopping. <laughs> no, I'm not. By that I mean Moses Malone, the NBA player. What, um, was he the mailman? Somebody tell me he was. Carmel, what did I say, Moses Malone? Come on. I just went to see Wicked. You think I'm gonna know a ball player's name? Hey, this A-Rod's in some hot water, huh, everybody? I, uh, I love sports. I'm crazy about them. I did a thing called golf not that long ago. Uh, did you buy anything today on the Third Street Promenade? Or did you just watch a guy in a silver suit do a dance? Say it again? There were some girls getting hazed for a sorority. What does that mean? Girls getting hazed for a sorority on 3rd Street? What does that mean? They, yeah, they were wearing toilet seat covers. It was like, what what fraternity is that? Carrot Top? <laughs> <laughs> Why would they have toilet seat covers on? That sounds horrible. And then what, they lift it up and then vomit into it? Is that the premise? <laughs> I was never in a sorority or a frat. <laughs> no, Better chance of even in a sorority, to be honest with you. <laughs> Oh, that had to be thrilling. Um, <laughs> no, good for you, Christine. Welcome. And are you from here, Christine? No, I'm from Brooklyn. From Brooklyn. Welcome. Are you visiting? No, I live here now. Oh, you live here now. Welcome. Same guy with the Malaysian flu. <laughs> <laughs> it's very supportive. Kevin, when you say you work today, what'd you do, friend? Uh, I sold umbrellas today, actually. Good business. Good business day? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Never thought the guy putting his foot up would be more likable than you, Kevin. I, uh, <laughs> what happened? Did you really sell umbrellas today, Kevin, or was that the joke you couldn't wait to get out? <laughs> I was trying to think of something all the whole way here, and... Uh, yeah, you know, there's no pressure on you. You just have to sit there and laugh your ass off like these other fine people. <laughs> and jazz. <laughs> that seemed unfair, but it made me laugh. Jazz, I'm not going to lie to you. One of, you. one of your friends explained the joke to Jazz, because there's no way... That, that way. Uh, anyhow, welcome, everybody. Here's the deal. Uh, by applause, who's been to You Bet Your Life before? By applause. <laughs> I figured these two over there, you guys, so was that a yes or a no? Uh, no. What was your... <laughs> <laughs> well, well, welcome back. Uh, Rashad, are we doing okay? Yes. Uh, it was Rashad, right? All right, good to have you here. And do, uh, is Demetri Martin going to call you for that hair for his new show, or are you going to be okay? <laughs> oh, that's offensive, because I don't get comedy. What, um... 